Hey guys, what's up? Skills a lot here, and today I will be bringing you episode two of Through the Rift. So let's go ahead here. We did get through the starting area um, on the last episode where we did our introductory quest that just got us into the game. Let's see, we do have our daily login, so we got rune unsocketing apparatus, so we can unsocket a permanent rune from an item. So let's go ahead and claim that. Close that down. And let's see what we have to do. We have the return where we got to speak with Sienna Farallon and speak with Alwyn Demler. So let's head this way. Here's Sienna. Let's talk to her. To help? What happened to you? I fell from the Great Bridge when the Defiance blew it up. We were crossing to destroy their Ark of the Ascended, a foul device they've created to replicate the ascension of the Vigil. We couldn't let that happen, but the Defiance destroyed the bridge rather than face us in honorable combat. I can still see my comrades' faces as the bridge fell beneath us. I will never forget this crime. Who are you? You're dressed strangely for a guardian. Best of luck. Okay, and let's go speak with Alwyn. Over here. Yeah, right here. Alwyn Demler. Ah, good to see you. Port Sion has fallen. The Defiance ended the peace and destroyed the bridge, leaving our guardian comrades floating in the wreckage. What happened to the city over there? Where'd you come from? I just crawled ashore and saw a bright light near the trees. Whoever you are, you must be blessed by the vigil. The city over there is Port Sign. It was the rock we built peace upon between Defiance and Guardians. But Elsbeth al allowed Regulus to stretch his horrendous talents through the ward. She stole the heart of Regulus from the vaults and unleashed a death rift over the city. King Zapra, who tried for so long to keep the peace, gave his life to shut off the city and trap the evil inside. Now we're at war with the Deviants, and that's why I'm soaking wet. What are we going to do now? We will fight back, Alwyn. Well. So now we have to find Orin Bancroft at Divine Landing. So let's head up through Divine Landing and find this guy. Let's see here. Where do we gotta go? Not that far to the north here, but that's where we'll go, right there. Let's see here. Orin Bancroft. We are blessed to have you with us, Ascended One. You are needed here now more than ever. Thank you for your assistance. Good prices for quality wares. Best of luck. Ah, good to see you.
well. Come. And we get a new spell, Desecrate. So let's click save and exit. Desecrate. Consumes all the major stacks of Deathly Calling on an enemy dealing 43 to 48 death damage per stack consumed. So let's drag that down there. And let's also summon our Zeolot just so we have him up for when we actually need to start fighting some enemies. There we go, and let's see, we have another quest over here. What's this want us to do? The Red Dragon's minions are bent on burning down the ancient force. Quickly stamp out the flames and tear down the pyres before the forest is consumed. So we have to extinguish wanton ting tinders. Okay, we can do that. So that's these. We go there's one two oh we gotta kill this enemy to get through there's an enemy and we just got a carnage quest now what these quests are is they're just random quests you can get just for fighting enemies and then you got to kill the enemies that request. So we can also do that too. So we've got to kill 10 of these wanton destroyers and 8 malforged embers. Which we haven't saw a malforged ember yet. But we see plenty of these wanton destroyers, so let's go ahead and kill them off. There we go. Extinguish this. Take our loot. Always make sure to take the loot, even though it's not worth a lot. Every little bit of money counts. And let's kill... We need to kill seven more destroyers. Now six more. And now we have to do five more. There we go, pick up our loot, cruel hook, burlap aberrant symbol, um, burlap cloth and aberrant icon, defeat the storm idol. So this is a different kind of rift that just kind of randomly appears. We have to defeat the storm idol. As you can see, they're not very friendly towards what we need to kill. Let's see if we can even do this. Let's try. So there's one enemy dead. Let's see if we can do this. There's 
three enemies dead, and then we have one more on the other side. Just to see if we can defeat this rift. There we go. Now let's defeat the storm idol. There we go, just like that. That's actually a foothold rift, so we can claim our reward. So we get four planarite and a torrential mirror. Use wield the power of Crucia, increasing your movement speed by 7% for two minutes. There we go. And let's stamp out this. And let's kill the destroyers. And I think we'll finish just this quest here, this carnage quest. And then we'll... That'll probably be it for this episode, but we'll see. There we go, loot the icon. And kill this guy. Oh, he's not in our line of sight. Alrighty, now let's kill this guy. And then this one. Where do we even need to go to kill the other things? Okay, just the other side. Okay, let's hand in the other quest while we're here. I believe this symbol means it's a repeatable quest, but I'm not sure. Yeah, it's a daily it's a daily quest. It's good to see one of our noble order and a mage. How useful. Come hither, lad, and stand with me against the planar abominations that issue from the rifts in Silverwood. Together we can defend the righteous guardians. So we have to kill rift creatures. Um, I don't really feel like we're not going to do that right now. Um, let's see. Get, grab the Enduring Breaches. And finish that quest. Okay. And now let's see about what we need to kill over here. So we got a... Out of the hands of evil, this was once a reliqu reliquary of Mariel Tarn, but it has been corrupted by wanton magic. The fires of the Malforge threaten to destroy the whole, all the holy relics and sanguine shores. Recover them before it's too late. Um, let's see. Okay, there's the Malforge embers we need to kill. So let's go ahead and we'll kill, we'll kill these guys off. And yeah, I think that'll be it for this episode. So let's go ahead, kill off, um, how many did we need to kill? Kill off the eight enemies. Hand in the carnage quest and we'll be done for the day. So take the cloth, take the gloom husk. There we go. Take the gloom husk. Let's see here. Down another Malforge Ember. Down another Malforge Ember. Well, there's an item we need to loot for the reliquary, so we can we can grab that too since it's right there. Okay, grab this reliquary. Malforge Ember. I think that's what we need to throw the spear at. Yeah, that's definitely what we need to throw the spear at. So let's go ahead and throw the spear too. There we go. Some quest. That'll be it for now. Let's go ahead and collect our rewards. So, Carnage, Offworld Woes. By cleansing the woods of the Malforge Embers and Wanton Destroyers, you have done the Vigil Proud. So, finish that. And we'll just head back and turn in the quest to throw the spear. And then 
we'll call it a day for now. And we'll continue in the next episode. There we go, head up to the Spirit of Carwin. And take the Oren's Pike Staff. And then carrying the light, thanks to you, Divine Landing will hold fast. However, Malforge Goblin Hordes are descending from the Norse. The goblins will raise the town of Argent Glade if you don't intervene. So we can accept that quest. We can equip our new staff. There we go. Well, guys, that's it. That will be the second episode of Through the Rift. I do hope you really enjoyed it. If you did, feel free to hit that like button. Hit that sub button for more content usually uploaded every day, and I hope you have yourselves a wonderful day.